hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel hope all is well hope you guys are keeping well um i have a word for the youth a word of encouragement um something that i've been discussing with the holy spirit so um yeah let us get into this word i pray that i pray that it gets into the right hands young people the youth i pray that um it makes whoever this, this video is for i i pray that they stop they think they um just examine yourself like examine yourself and like really like question is there a heaven and heaven and hell okay because um we're living in a time where this world it, it's making people think that it's so fabulous you know it's not going to end or you're not going to die one day and um the consequences where when you do die where is your soul going yeah where is your spirit man going so um let us pray and get into the video heavenly father we thank you we glorify you we honor you lord jesus we thank you for this set time i thank you lord jesus for this word for the youth for the young people out there lord god i pray that it um edifies i pray that it encourage i pray that it um helps them in one way or another lord jesus for them to just stop and think about life after this life in the mighty name of jesus eternal life holy spirit come and have your way father god i pray for my brothers and sisters under the side of my voice i pray for the holy spirit to come and have his way holy spirit i invite you into the life let me decrease for you to increase come and have your way lord jesus speak to your children the youth in this season in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen so guys um i was um spending time with the lord i was spending time with the lord and um i was asking him a question about hell i was asking him a question about hell and um to to um he was saying to me that it's funny how um the enemy is showing you guys in the end times what his plans are, what he's doing through music, through entertainment, what is coming, and um, what are we doing about it? Like, what are we, for the youth, what are we doing about it? So, um, when I say what he's doing, yeah, you've got the constants, constants, music constants going on. You've got the music industry doing the most. You've got um, the, the videos that, I mean, yeah, the video games doing the most and um, entertainment, movies. The movies have been warning us from day one, but we've just not been, like, some of us have not been attentive. Some of us are not understanding the signs. Everything is in the movies, what the enemy has, the Antichrist, the... Um, um, Satan's children that are working on behalf of him in these end times. So, um, what does this have to do with the young people? Now, the, what the Lord wants to speak to the young people today is like, do you guys understand what you partake in? Whatever you do is what's going to um, define whether you go to heaven or whether you go to hell. Now, I had a young person saying to me, surely. Jesus would not um, God wouldn't put you into hell for smoking weed. Hello? Yes, he would. Because the Bible says he's pure, he's holy, yeah? Um, this is the thing as well. We've come to the point, when I say we, children of God, Christians, whatever you want to call yourself, born again, we've come to the point where we don't want to tell the truth. We want to sugarcoat things. We want to be quiet and make people think that it's okay. It's not okay. If you're living with a man and you're not married to that man, that's fornication, yeah? Now, um, what I'm trying to say is young people, like I've been there, done that. You've had a child with someone and you're not married and like you're in that home with that person. And if it happens and, um, you know, Jesus Christ comes or your life ends, you're not going to heaven. You're not going to heaven, yeah? And this is what people don't, are not, we're not speaking about hell. We keep speaking about the goodness of the Lord, but the goodness of, and the love of the Lord wants us to speak on hell because the love that he has, he doesn't want no one to go to hell. Okay. So yes, we come up here and we say um, prophetic word this, prophetic word that, but the Lord is saying to me, you, we need to speak about hell. We need to speak about hell because a lot of his children and um, in the Bible, thank you, Holy Spirit. In the Bible, it says Jesus at 12 years old 
was at the temple yeah so now so there's some kids that are um they're dying and you don't know whether they've they're in heaven or in their they're in um hell yeah for example um i was minding my own business because some people might say what's she talking about i'm going to tell you i was minding my own business and the holy spirit made me pop up on someone's feed yeah um and this is another thing i've been asking the holy spirit like is there any good voices men is there any men like men voices for the kingdom of um of the kingdom of heaven yeah for god's kingdom minding my own business and then this feed comes up yeah his name's that is his youtube name is that joy mac praise yeah mac m a c p r a y z e i'll put his um information in the description box now this brother um came up on my feed um he was um speaking on lovely but i'm not even going to go there yeah he was speaking on lovely but those that have ears to hear and eyes to see and a relationship with the holy spirit you should know that certain people are walking and in error and like you know they're just doing things from their flesh praise be to god and um, um so now i he came up he was talking about one one guy called lovely yeah and um i agree with him what he was saying now what i'm saying is this guy from when i watched that lovely one i went on to his stuff i asked god in the secret place is there any men men in the kingdom that are speaking on your behalf okay prophets men apostles men this guy come up on my feed i started going onto his um onto his um videos this guy talks about hell who he's seen in hell through the power of the holy ghost okay through the holy spirit the gift of the holy spirit now this is where i was asking the lord once again why are we not warning people about hell the youth especially because they're the ones that are getting deceived okay you're not going to get to heaven smoking weed you're not going to get to heaven being in parties and doing the most yeah and when i say parties i'm not saying like your friend parties i'm not saying that i'm talking about clubbing i'm talking about inst like you're doing things instant like to the extreme every day club drink different women you're not going to get to heaven yeah I'm, I'm pulling it point blank because no one apart from this guy maybe there's others but god gave me he his feed popped up because i asked the question if you go back on my videos i'm always asking where are the men where are the men for these end times i'm not talking about the the the, the ones with the, the the big um followers that are compromising i'm not talking about those people yeah i'm talking about the real ones like this guy yeah i said i'm gonna put his um, details down okay let me even say his name again okay his youtube channel is called that joy mac praise okay mac as in m-a-c-p-r-a-y-z-e i greet you and i salute you man of god okay keep doing what you're doing because i was once talking about thank you holy spirit i was once talking about the um celebrities there was a time when the lord go back on my videos there was a time when the lord was talking to me about celebrities give me dreams about celebrities i had one um ex-friend telling me about why are you speaking about celebrities why are you do now let me tell you something jesus loves these people he doesn't like the act but he loves celebrities okay so now if jesus gives us a vision and says wait then he says go and say it because he doesn't want the day of judgment to come and that person says i didn't know or da -da -da -da. jesus will always warn jesus will always give second third fourth chances i know because he's done it with me so when someone comes and starts questioning what why are they talking about celebrities now i've said this before in your eyes they're celebrities in jesus eyes they're human beings and he doesn't want no one to perish he doesn't want no one to go to hell let me digress now as i said the entertainment um, industry, which belongs to Satan, yeah? Not all of it, because some people just, they're not a part of the matrix. They're not a part of Hollywood. They're not, some people have got their own base where they do movies, they do mu music, it's the, and it's their own thing, yeah? They're not partaking with the world. Now, I am talking about the whole of the satanic movement was going on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord just reminded me of um, Blue, Blue, Blue Ivy, yeah? Disclaimer. Now, there was a season when it was, um, what's her name? North, disclaimer. 
TikTok, the way North was like, the, the, listen, if you guys don't have eyes to see what's going on, yeah, they are using their children, their celebrity children, to get your own children. I saw a young child, guys, at Beyonce's concert, concert with the Blue Ivy. The little girl was dancing these demonic dances like Blue Ivy, yeah? But then when you have the eye to see, the spiritual eye, the Lord said to me, can you see what's going on? The Holy Spirit said, can you see what's going on, yeah? The little girls are doing these demonic dances. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Let me say something to you. This is to mums that you think it's so cool to take your child to a Beyonce concert. Like, um, my daughter, she's, she's an adult. She's, yeah, she's a grown woman now. So um, back in the days, a cousin of mine, um, um, with someone I was seeing, asked him to buy me and my daughter Beyonce tickets. And um, I thought to us, this just come up now, recently. Yeah, the Lord reminded me that I went with my daughter to a Beyonce, to a Beyonce concert. But my thing is, why didn't I think of taking her? Someone else thought of taking my child and me to a Beyonce concert, but I did it. As much as I was in the world, I did not say, oh, let me go and purchase Beyonce tickets and take my daughter. Somebody else went and done that, yeah? <laughs> and I rebuke that seed as well in the name of Jesus. But what am I saying, guys? We, when you're in the world, you think it's okay. Now that my eyes are open, no to, hell to the no. I am telling you, I repented because yes, somebody bought them for me, but I went and I repented. And as I said, my daughter's an adult now. But what am I saying? If your children are children of God and you're raising them up in the things of God, guys, you need to make up your mind because that little girl that I saw it, around 12, 13, if the rapture comes or anything happens, is she going to, he is she going to heaven? Where you are at that time, the lyrics that you're singing, where you are at that time. Okay, because some of you might say, oh, you're being judgmental. It's not being judgmental. I'm teaching you the word of God and I'm going to give you scriptures, okay? What you do on this earth and how you play out is where you're going to end up going. There's two choices. There's heaven and there's hell, okay? Now, this same brother, I suggest if you are young, this video is for the youth. If you're a parent and you want to, like, listen... Glory be to God. But what I'm saying is the same guy said, um, Kobe Bryant's daughter, you need to go and watch it because some of you don't think it's a joke. Some of you don't think that, oh no, they're kids. They're going to get to, they're going to go to heaven. If your child is at 12, Jesus was at 12. He was in the temple. Yeah. Where are your children at 12 almost? What are they doing? Are they on these um, consults? Is that their, their life? 24 seven consults? Guys, I am telling you, if that is their life, they're not going to make it, yeah? God is pure. God is pure, yeah? So if your son or daughter is on a console, if your son or daughter has like a phone or doing sex, sex talking or sex texting, anything that is impure, your child will not make the kingdom of heaven, yeah? Not my word. I'm going to take you to scriptures, okay? Now, the way we are said, the way you behave here, on earth is going to determine it where you end up yeah some people have grace you give your life on the hospital bed you make it to heaven but what am i saying you if like the thing is because we're not talking about hell some people think it's a joke guys they are there they are there in their concerts on their platforms they are doing everything is red everything is hell and people are celebrating with them the industry is showing you what they're doing Go on this guy's in, um, YouTube channel. He's seen rappers. He's seen um, every, like people in hell, guys. This is real. This is real stuff. I know you guys don't like these kind of things. You don't like rebuking. You don't like to listen and, and hear this kind of, t um, of, of um, teaching or preaching. Yeah. But guys, we are in the end times. And you need to make up your mind. Where are you standing? Are you standing with this world? The Bible says that the, the, those that have decided the things of this world are not of Jesus. Yeah. And this thing of um, young people in um, videos, money, that, that the whole of that industry, money, money, money. Once again, the Bible says the root 
it's the root of all evil, yeah? That we've got a generation where you will do anything for, for money. Your rappers that you're saying they're rappers, most of them, you don't know what they're doing behind clothes to get to what they, where they are now. Educate your children, guys. Educate your children. And the thing is as well, it's not about just educating them. If you are a child of God, you need to tell your children, be in your scriptures, read your word of God. So let's just say that the Lord takes your child or it's a youth. You can know in your heart, my child is with Jesus. My child is in paradise. But if your child is living a wishy-washy life, yeah, guys, I'm telling you, the Bible says it's easier for a camel. I've just been on a camel. Yeah, I, I went to Dubai and I saw, I sat on a camel. It's easier for a camel to enter the kingdom of heaven than a human being. Because of our ways, because of our greed, because of double-minded, yeah, I pray that I pray. Guys, I, listen, the same message I'm giving you here, I give it to my own children. I tell them, walk away from this world. Turn away from all the desires, yeah? Because the day that, that's what I said, some people have the time and then, you know, God gives you the time on your hospital bed to sort yourself out. Some people don't have the time. Some people don't have the time to repent. So these are the videos. Do I think that's Kanye out there? No, I don't. Disclaimer, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's Kanye. And then there's even saying um, Jamie Foxx. I don't know yet because I haven't really been paying attention to, to Jamie Foxx. Guys, wake up, wake up. I'm gonna put this guy's um, um, YouTube ch channel down below. Youth, go on there, go over there. You know, people are living like this, this world is not going to end. People are living like they're not going to die. This world is going to end. And the most important thing that God is like concerned, where is your spirit man going? Jesus didn't come on this earth for fun. He gave up his life. He's uh, God, his only begotten son for us. Yeah? Guys. And another thing, those churches, those churches, God is going to judge those churches. If there's some righteous churches out there, glory be to God. But those churches, I am so happy that God pulled me out of them churches. Yeah? Guys, get into your word. Get into your word. Get closer to Jesus. Get into your word of God. Get into your word. Yeah? I keep every young person that around me now, I keep saying to them, because of the times, yeah, they, they, they don't have that time to sit down. So I keep saying to them, just read the red. Get a Bible where there's red in your Bible. So read the red because that's instructions. That's Jesus talking. Yeah. So now if you read that all the time, you're, you're, you're feeding your spirit, man. Jesus is talking. Your eyes will open. Your, your ears will open. Slowly but surely, the Holy Spirit will visit you because that's Jesus talking. Yeah. Yesterday, I had an opportunity to speak to a young man and I was like, guys, you need to change. You, you need to choose. You need to choose. Yeah. This world is making you sort of think that, yeah, and you know, like this is it. It's not it. The same guy that I'm telling you about, he done a video. Yeah. That he saw people just sitting there waiting for God to judge them. Like, like, are you entering in heaven or are you going hell? And I think one of the, the video, the devil was there. I don't know. Go and go watch the video. Yeah. Guys, I do like coming and giving prophetic words, this, that, that. But we need to start telling people that the scriptures, yeah, revelation, hell is real. And what hurts me is your celebrities are doing it. They're showing you all the demonic things and people are taking part. You're going there. You're doing signs, signs that you don't even understand. You're doing signs. Yeah. You're partaking. You're giving him that legal right, the legal door. You being there, you listening to their music, you, you you're being, you're, you're part of it. I'm telling you this morning, listen, the Lord gave me a dream on weed. If you think that you smoke weed and you're entering the kingdom of God, you're having a laugh. You're not, you're not, yeah? I'm speaking like this because I'm speaking to young people, yeah? Hell is real. Your music that you listen to, the baggy clothes, Jesus didn't tell you not to come and put your trousers halfway down your whatever, yeah? Dress properly. Speak to women properly. Speak to your fathers, your, your parents properly. It's crazy, yeah? Guys, 
I pray that you see what I'm seeing. First of all, it was like Little North on TikTok. Yeah, she was doing the most. Now, it's the Blue Ivy in the concerts. The little girls now, all of them, that they want that's the, they want to be like her. I digress. But I pray that I pray that you, who this video is for, Jesus loves everybody, but he can't partake in sin. He can't partake in um, things that your rappers do and say, bitches, rare, to tear. Okay, let me give you, let me repent. I re I've already repent behind closed doors. Um, someone was irritating me and sharing something with me. And I swore. And the, even swearing, I was like, wow, that's not of me. Yeah, that's not. So how much more your rappers when they're swearing? Guys, I swore. I haven't swore in a long time. I swore. And I was like, Lord, forgive me. Da -da -da -da. But it's just the company. People rubbing you the wrong way. Yeah, I had to repent. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to go around this person again because they bring out that negativity. Do you understand? Guys, please. I am begging you, young people. Yeah? Your life, your soul. Yeah? Drinking. I used to go back on my video on drinking. I Listen, there's nothing that I used to... I used to do the most. I used to do the most. But the love of Jesus Christ, he pulled me out, guys. He pulled me out. Even now, he's, he's still working on me. He's still... I repent. The Bible says, live a repentance life. I repent daily to make sure that when Jesus comes or when he's ready to take me, I'm entering the kingdom of heaven. I had to disconnect myself from bad people. Whether they were bad, whether they were good, I don't know. God took them out, yeah, because of his purpose, okay? Right? So if you need to do that, guys, you need to do that, yeah? Don't let people lie to you. I'm talking to the youth, young people. Don't let people lie to you about, oh, you're 12, you're 11, you're 10, you're going to make heaven. If you know right from wrong and you're doing wrong, No, there's a seat for you in, heaven, in hell if you're doing wrong. Because this generation, the way I see it, they, they, it's just, as the scriptures say, rebellious generation. So now, if I don't come and speak to, if it's just one child out there, one youth that this video touches and they say, you know what, I, I, I'm having a, a little, I'm, I'm examining myself. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be, guys. Guys. This world, I'm telling you, this world is making things... Like, when it was a lockdown and people thought the, the, the world was ending, everybody was patterned. Everybody wanted to know Jesus then. But now, people have gone back to their behaviours, their sin, their this, they don't care. Just like, thank you, Holy Spirit. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. When I was talking to the Lord about this video, he was like, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, is there any righteous people, you know? That's the, 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 can you imagine the day of the trumpet? Like, is there any righteous? I, I asked God, I said, Lord, is there any of your sons in this land, in this, in this world that are speaking for you, righteous? Then the Lord put me on this guy. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, it was like two weeks later. And then I found the, the video. It popped up on my feed. Uh, I love the zeal. I love his zeal. I love his zeal. He's just, he's not even in it for followers, this, that, that. He's just saying what the Holy Spirit is showing him and the scriptures. Yeah? If you like, you like. If you don't like, you know what to do. But we're here to tell you. We're here to tell you because some of us actually have conversations with God off the scene. Yeah? Not just for social media, not just for YouTube. Yeah? Some of us actually ask God questions. Guys, I pray that I pray that, and I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. You see them Instagram, TikToks, whatever. Guys, you young people think you're, you're, um, you're uh, entertaining human beings. You're entertaining spirits. You're entertaining demons. Yeah, right? Anything that you're going on to and it hasn't got the Holy Spirit in, know that it's another spirit. Yeah, okay? Because I've been on Instagram and I'm like, woo! I've been on TikTok and I'm like, woo! My spirit man. And I think, oh my God, young people, 
those that don't have the Holy Spirit, everything is coming in, everything is coming in. Then when you're hearing a child has done this and someone shooting this, that, that, stabbing, da, 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 it's demons. It's demons that have entered in. Guys, do you know what? Because of time, I've come on and I'm trying to speak to someone. You're running after this industry, this music, um, entertainment. You want to be a star. You need to think. You need to think. Because they don't tell you what they do behind closed doors to be w what they're doing in your music industries and in your um, entertainment, yeah? But I pray that God opens some of your eyes. I pray that this video helps a youth, a young person, to even if you're in that industry, for you to repent and get out. I pray that if you're in them industries, entertainment, anything to do with Satan, that you repent and come out so you know that, you know what? My name is written in the book of life, yeah? I'll put the salvation prayer at the bottom of this video. But guys, I'm asking you to rethink. Rethink your life. Where is your spirit man going? Eternal. Eternity with Jesus or eternity with the hell, the devil? And you know what? Lucifer knows. The devil knows that his time is short. So he's just doing everything so quick. Boom, 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 boom. He's doing everything. But you know what? Social media came. IT came, but it's just ruining homes. It's ruining homes. Yes, there's good, and then there's the negative. So, guys, let me read you the scripture that the, the Holy Spirit gave me, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna put the young man's details at the bottom. Those that wanna follow his chap, uh, his um, YouTube channel, I'll put his link and I'll put him in the community as well. God bless you, young man. God bless you down there in um, is it Alabama? Yeah, I don't know America that well, but God bless you. Yeah, I know you're in the States somewhere. God bless you, God bless you. So the Lord gave me um, Mark 8, yeah, 36. And it said, what, is, what, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul, yeah? You want to be a rapper. You want to be this. You want to be that. You want to be famous, yeah? You want to be this to just to show people that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to think again. So the scripture says, Mark 8, verse 36. What does it profit for a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? The meaning going to hell. Yeah, those for those that don't know. All right. So the other one that the Holy Spirit gave me, because when we do preach the word of God, we lose people. We lose family members. We lose people. Okay. So the Holy Spirit gave me Matthew 10, 34, okay? And it says, um, you can read it to 34 um, to 39, yeah? But I'm going to read to 34. It says, for I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's... En yeah, we won't even go that far. So guys, yeah? If you read that scripture, you understand that Jesus came to separate those that if you love him, you're not going to love nothing more than the Jesus Christ. Yeah. If your kids are doing what is not of God, then you got to let go. You tell them, you love them, you pray. If, if your kids, your sister, brother, mother, the scripture just says it there. Yeah. I love you guys to the next time. I love you so much, but I just pray that somebody, I don't care that, listen, I'm not here like... I'm not here to please man, guys. Whatever the Holy Spirit tells me to come and talk about, that's what I'll come and talk about. But I pray to God that someone, this is someone's word and they will listen. Yeah, I had a conversation with the Lord and he said that no one's announcing hell. But then he, he put me on his son, this guy that I'm t talking about. And he said, this guy is telling them the truth about hell. What he's seen, what he's experienced, when God takes him there, and we're not saying, we're not, listen, as I said, go back on the video, guys, yeah, your celebrities are, are announcing the coming of their, um, um, what's his name, um, the coming of um, the Antichrist, it's there, it's there in their music, it's there in their concerts, it's there, and these are, even these concerts as well, if you don't think concert, concert, no, every time Beyonce is going somewhere, she's planting, she's putting her, she's planting, she's putting, like, taking torrents, what are we doing, what are we doing? I pray that you pray for your children, you youth, give your life to um, um, give your life to Christ. If you're ten and over, Jesus said twelve. 
yeah in the scriptures it says 12 but now i believe that a 10 year old now is so advanced okay so if you're 10 and over and you understand please give your life to christ or ask ask your parents to tell you about jesus ask someone you there must be someone in your family that knows about jesus guys to the next time i pray that this i pray disclaimer and i pray that this helps someone give your life to jesus the time is short the enemy is making you guys think you've got all the time in the world no 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 no. time is short jesus christ is coming back i don't know when he's coming back but the bible says it was like the days of noah okay people getting married people being in mary celebrating da -da -da -da. when the water came it came noah and his family was what they survived they were in the boat so choose what boat are you going to be in? Jesus' boat? Or are you going to be in Satan's boat? There's two, there's two kingdoms. Kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of hell. Choose. God bless you to the next time. I love you, Adasa Esther. God bless you guys. All this is love, guys. I love you and I pray that you make right choices. I pray that you give your life to Christ. So you'll be in paradise with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right, to the next time. God bless.